The New York State Teachers Retirement System is a $137.5 billion Wall Street slush fund. How does it make these magical profits? It doesn't do it by working. It does it by financial manipulation and by state subsidy, particularly the war industry. I have visited Nystrus. I've written them letters. I've talked to their counsel, the manicured Mr. Indelicado, and I know what they invest in. Cluster munitions. Every kind of child-killing munitions imaginable. Exactly the kind that are currently being sent to Israel to slaughter their own population of Palestinians. Nystrus is funding, is funding the very corporations that are bombing for the last 70 days, one million children. Just so that you teachers can sit home and stream your videos and go to Tahiti and have your vacations and think of nothing. And if you turn on the news, be blinded and lied to that nothing's happening. Well, I'm here to tell you, you guys are covered with blood. And so am I, and I don't like it. I resent it. I hate it. I want you to go out and do something. I want you to stop General Dynamics and Raytheon and BP and Shell and all of the war manufacturers that are slaughtering children in Gaza. How can you do this? You can do what I did. You can call the president of Nystrus and give him a list of companies and say these companies are profiting from the massacre of children and we're not going to do it. It's unethical. It's evil. It's un-American. It's unchristian, And it's certainly against every precept of the teachers who run this school and the teachers union that controls this board. And we will, if you don't Write us a letter and say you're immediately going to divest of these companies. We will boycott Nystrus. And that's really simple. You turn to the fat man who's the superintendent who gets a quarter of a million dollars a year to lie to you and say, you can't do that, you can't do that. And you tell him, we are of a mind to divest from Raytheon, Halliburton, Kellogg, Brown, and Root. All the oil companies, all the tech companies that are profiting from the massacre of children in Gaza. You don't need to mention Israel. You don't need to worry about the BDS slogan, which is only to keep the stuff from happening, to keep 900 kids a week. Imagine every Chatham student massacred every week to keep 900 kids a week safe instead of dead, which is what the New York State Teachers Retirement System and your inactivity and silence are producing. Noor, Hossam, Jamil Al Zanin, nine years old. Jude Mohammed Sadeh Kader, nine years old. Taka Munther Abdul Hamid Zaino, nine years old. The siege of Gaza's population has been fortified by land invasion and bombings of hospitals, clinics, ambulances bread bakeries, water mains, schools, apartment buildings, marketplaces, fleeing refugee families to nowhere, journalists, mosques, churches, and clearly marked United Nations schools and relief sites. Death certificates are prepared before the ink on birth certificates dries. Fires cannot be extinguished. Diseases are spreading. Deaths are at least 20,000 and probably twice or three times that number, increasing by the hour from lack of water, food, and urgent medical treatment. For those homeless, battered families being driven south under Israeli bombardment and communication blackouts, there are no safe sanctuaries, whether in the north or south Gaza, even in hospitals, they blockaded. Gaza is a free-fire zone for the IDF.